the situation. You need a seven-point swing in one day, and you're going to have to do something big to get it. Something that isn't very clean campaign. If I lose my seat to that toothpaste commercial, Milo... If this was a straight your face or his scenario, I'd say most people would actually... Steady on, Milo. OK, look, the way I see it, Bobo is holding at 12, and you can either write off the keyboard warriors and reactionary loons... I really hate that monkey. ...or, or you gently point them in the direction of Mr Khalil's connections, and I think you scoot those up. Plus a couple of curtain switches. Oh, brilliant. Next week, I'm on a daytime TV couch embroidering the St George's Cross with Katie Hopkins. Why didn't we see this coming? Because you were going to walk it. Mm. Because Ben Khalil's so dumb, he couldn't win a game of rock, paper, scissors against a natural rock. OK, fine. What about that other thing? It's the final day of campaigning for the mayoral seat of East Elbra. Tune in at 8 p.m. tonight for a final debate between the candidates. I heard it from Deb, who heard it from Sandy, but Sandy's been volunteering in the Khalil camp all month. Is it true? Speak now or forever shut up, Milo. When they'll discuss the issues affecting you, the voter, moderated by me, Hayley Martel. Yes, it's definitely true. OK, then. Have you seen Tom? No. Anyone seen Tom? <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Haley, all I'm saying is that you'd be doing everyone a favour if you mentioned Ben's patio tax because it's a big issue with the voters. You just made that up, Milo. No, I didn't. Milo, stop flirting. Has anyone seen... Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Hi, Polly. Hiya. What's up, Polly? It's Bobo. He's been tying up the phone lines all morning singing the Banana Boat song. And Tom's the only one who can do the whole stop calling or I'll chop your thing off and feed it to the... See, I can't do it. Tom's gone, Polly. He quit. No promotion. He suffered a by-election in Dundee. Oh. Oh, really? So, who is... Campaign manager. I guess that would be you. You're fucking serious? Congratulations. Yes! I mean, um, thank you. Don't worry about Bobo. I'll feed him the fuck-off act. And Bailey's doing that interview at two, so let's... Thank you, Polly. She's the only one who can work the phones. Oh, is that why? It's one day. Fine. How much can she fuck up in one day? Tomorrow. Given that substantial policy overlap between you and Mr. Khalil, is there really an alternative here? I think that's a question of trust, Haley. And character. Are you alleging that Mr. Khalil is untrustworthy? What's she doing? I'm merely wondering if there are legitimate questions we've been too polite to ask of Mr. Khalil. Could you be any more legitimate specific? questions? Has anyone, for example, looked into any untoward associations Mr. Khalil might be harboring? Is she really doing this? Are you? To be clear, are you implying some kind of criminal associations? She fucking is. She's putting I a goldsmith. Anything of the kind, Haley. But I am very much looking forward to tonight's debate when Mr. Khalil and I can address all the concerns of the voting public. And, and I'll see you tonight. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. OK. So we're going with... Two birds. I've got a job for you, Milo. Tamara, darling, please take a breath. I'm just going to talk to her, Ben. Tamara, it's fine. She's dead in the water. She wish she was fucking dead. Let's just take a moment. She played the race card. She's basically made Ben an icon of the left. The Guardian's gonna skin her alive. OK, fine. Polly, I would like you to draft a reasonable and dignified press release that draws a tidy comparison between Victoria Bailey and Joseph fucking Goebbels. OK, okay Polly will draft her press release. Yep, I'm all over it. Actually, your ex is Mother Gabble's type. Milo? Yeah, this probably is Milo. At uni, he used to have a poster of Roger Stone on his wall, like, looking at the bed. The Watergate guy? Yeah, real mood killer. OK, do we need to deny the whole associations thing? Yeah, start with a blanket denial. Uh, well... What? Well, what? A straightforward denial could be problematic. What do you mean? I honestly don't know if this is relevant, but I have a cousin. A 15-year-old. And she's having a challenging adolescence. And? She was being bullied in school. Horribly. And you could write it off as kids being kids, but they were really awful to her. Like how, Ben? A girl in traditional dress can attract a lot of cruelty in Delbra Comprehensive. You can imagine the sort of thing. But she reacted in a way that... It's just internet stuff. Browsing the wrong sort of websites. 
but she managed to get the attention of a watchdog group that looks out for the faintest whiff of an extremist tendency. And you think Victoria is trying to trick you into denying? And then she brings up my cousin. It's fucking disgusting. She's just a kid. She gets bullied, she acts out. Does this get traction with anyone? Well, you know what the average Daily Mail reader's like. If a Muslim sneezes in Hackney, then every Muslim needs to apologize for the flu. How does she even know? I have no idea. I'm sorry, I really didn't think this was the sort of thing that... You should have said something to me then. Or to me. It honestly never crossed my mind that Victoria would go to the dark side like this. Holly? Sorry. Sorry, look, you guys need to debate prep. Go over the argument. I've got a meeting to take and a campaign to run. Look, guys, we've got this, OK? Go team Ben. Go team. All right, deep throat. Keep your voice down. I'm amazed you own a baseball cap. Thought you'd be more of a Kaiser hat guy. So you're going to call me a fascist, get the right historical period. What do you want, Milo? Two things. One, I want you to know that what happened today in the interview, that's not from me. That's a solo run from Victoria. Bollocks, you love this. I'm serious. Religious stuff can really backfire. And it's morally repugnant. Yeah, that too. Look, I just thought you should know this cousin stuff, it comes from your camp. Tom? No. Tamara. Oh, fuck off. Why would she do that? Well... A woman scorned as... I don't actually know, but she was very irate. Look. The room is about you and Ben. Not that I care, we're the party of do whatever you like behind closed doors, but is that something that could have... Oh, shit. So it's true, you and Khalil, you... You, you slept together. Oh, shit, oh, shit, tomorrow knows. Hey, hey, it's okay. Ben's really to blame for this, yeah? Oh, fuck me, it was only once. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you, um, take care of yourself. You have, uh, got to get back to the bus. <laughs> Milo. That's your two-minute call. That's two-minute call. No peeking before the test. No, no, no. I just wanted to let you know that I think you're doing a really great job, and if there's anything I can do... I have the recording, Polly. Don't use it. What can I say? Milo's an asshole. Fuck, oh, fuck. Please don't play it. Don't tell me what to do. It's nothing. It's tabloid stuff. It's, it's a... a natural story from his Delbra that isn't Cat Dislikes Dog. And I look like an idiot if I don't use it. Please. OK, look. There's an honesty rule. If he admits to it, I won't play it. But if he denies it... OK. OK. OK, then. Sorry. OK, Hayley, it's time. They up in 30 seconds. Final checks, please. You can't deny anything, OK? Good. We're on the same page. Okay, take no. You can't deny please. anything. I'm up, Polly. Okay, you got this? Go team, Ben. Go team. Stand by, everyone. Going live. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Good evening, and welcome to the final debate of the mayoral campaign. Please tweet in your questions, which I'll be putting to the candidates in the latter half of the town hall. But let's get straight into the main issue of the day. Ms. Bailey, earlier today you said, and I quote, has anyone looked into any untoward associations that Mr. Khalil might be harboring? Can you elaborate on these associations? I could, Haley. But I believe the honourable course would be to allow Mr. Khalil to elaborate. I have to tell you something. Mr. Khalil? Thank you, Hilly. About Ben and me. I believe there are a number of issues Please. in Please. Not now, Polly. Firstly, I would like to say that I'm disgusted that Miss Bailey would drag a child into the political spotlight. It's your actions and your hypocrisy I object to, Mr. Khalil. I have never denied that. Oh, you merely omitted. 
I omitted quite deliberately to bring up a 15-year-old schoolgirl. 15? You shouldn't blame men. Fucking young Listen. Yes. A 15-year-old girl. with a groupie. A child. That's you. My cousin. He apologized. Who's currently under the watchful eye of an organization that does not fantastic now, work with young people who are susceptible to the language, and I stress, the language of extremism. I think we might be at cross purposes here. When you speak of legitimate questions and harboring associations, you must know that you're deliberately stirring up religious and racial animus with a callous disregard for how you affect the life of a vulnerable child. I was referring to associations with your junior campaign staff. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. I agree, this is not the venue to discuss a vulnerable teenager. Although Mr. Khalil appears to be doing just that. But before Mr. Khalil subjects any more of his family members to public scrutiny, I would like to state clearly that my concern is he is dishonest and predatory. And who is he preyed on? His staff. And I believe that's a major concern for a public official. And let's not forget, a married man. Mr. Khalil? I categorically refute any such allegations. You deny having any kind of sexual relationship with a member of your staff? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm going to play a recording that was sent to me, Mr. Khalil. The rumors about you and Ben. Not that I care, we're the party of do whatever you like behind closed doors, but is that something that could have... So it's true, you and Khalil, you, you, you slept together. Oh shit, oh shit, tomorrow knows. You recognize the female voice, Mr. Khalil? I do. Do you still deny? No, I do not. I apologize to everyone. I was trying to avoid publicly humiliating my wife, who was already aware of this. It seems I've made things worse. Miss Bailey, you recognize the male voice on the recording? Oh, I think we can move on from Mr. Khalil's private affairs now. Was that the voice of Milo Shuttleworth? I don't see the relevance. I'm putting it to you that it's the voice of your campaign manager, Milo Shuttleworth. But that's completely immaterial. Did you ask your campaign manager to recall that conversation? Hayley, what does it matter how the cheater is caught? It matters that you can't answer a straight question. But I'll move on. I'm going to put to you a tweet from Atwill Bobo, our absence third candidate. <laughs> he writes, Ben Zelfis romance shouldn't detract from Bailey's racist dog whistling. I have no idea what he's talking about. Well, fortunately, he goes on. And I take exception to being called a racist by a man dressed as a monkey. He writes, Everyone knows what harboring associations means. She's winking at people who think all Muslims are potential terrorists. Do you? I was referring to Mr. Khalil's affair. No one's harboring an affair, Victoria. It's code, come on. Oh, code. Here we go. Could you at least agree that such language could be interpreted as Islamophobic? Can Ben at least agree that his cousin is a potential terrorist? She's a child, Victoria. Well, everyone was a child at some point. You said yourself, this isn't the venue to discuss a vulnerable teenager. Well, that's... I apologize for my comments. Are we done with this now? Can we move on? Yes. I think you're done. Hi, Hayley. Uh, no, that tweet isn't representative of actual policy. The mayor just likes to feel out public opinion. Oh, busy, busy, busy. Nose to the grindstone. Um, Mr. Mayor! To work for is better than the alternative, I guess. Look, I've got to go. Mr. Mayor! Come back, Michelle!